This is the graph of a function. Choose the graph of its derivative from among the following. Okay, so to do this, there's a couple of principles that can guide us. So first off, uh, the first derivative is equal to zero uh, wherever we would have horizontal asymptotes. And so um, here I would have a horizontal asymptote, which means at this particular point, my derivative would have to have a zero. So this function is not passing through the x-axis at that point, so that can't be it. Uh, this one's not passing, doesn't have a zero at the origin, so that can't be it. That leaves us these two options here. All right, so we can determine from there, uh, potentially, what's happening with increasing and decreasing. So the first derivative is greater than zero whenever a function is increasing. Uh, so on this interval, I am increasing. So my first derivative should be uh, greater than zero there. And then over here on this interval, a function is decreasing. So my derivative needs to be less than zero. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I meant to write is, is decreasing. All right, so looking at these options. So remember, these are derivatives. They both have the zeros where we expect them to be. But on this interval, this derivative is greater than zero, and that matches up with what we want. Down here, this doesn't match up because on this interval, the first derivative is uh, less than zero. But what we said is from our function, we wanted the first derivative to be greater than zero on the interval from negative infinity up to zero. And that's the case in this particular graph here. 